What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing a little how-to video, a nice easy way to get one of these pulleys off uh, without damaging anything. Um, I'm going to make a little tool here. I'm going to show you how to make this. You got a welder. It's pretty simple. So we're just going to take this piece of metal. It's uh, two inches by a quarter. Uh, drill three holes in it, one in the center, one to the each side of it. Um, it's basically going to be a poor man's puller. And it definitely helps when you're getting these pulleys off instead of having to be uh, use wood blocks. This is the best way I found to do it. Uh, you can also use a steering wheel puller if you have one. Problem with the steering wheel pullers is a lot of the shafts are bigger than five eighths. So once it starts pulling out, you know they start binding up. So you know we use a half inch bolt through here, then we won't have that problem to pull right out. So uh, you know, and this pulley is not terrible. I mean, it's probably not going to fight us too much. I do have another one right here. This one, this is going to probably be a fight. I may have to cut a little bit. I'll try to pull it first. I'll probably let this soak overnight in some BB Blaster. Give it a quick uh, clean, some brake clean. I'm gonna grind it off and get it clean so I can weld a half inch nut to this. All right, so we're all set up here. Uh, we're gonna weld this nut on and then we'll proceed to uh, set it up on the rear and I'll show you how I use this as a puller. All right, our piece of metal's cooled down. Uh, if the welds look a little funky, uh, this was a flanged style nut, so I had to, you know, go around and weld, you know, as much as I can or on onto there. And I tried to build up a little bit onto the nut uh, on several sections of it. I'm not the professional welder; I'm a hobbyist, so excuse my welds. And if uh, you don't weld, I highly urge you, if you're going to play with these mowers, you know, go get yourself, even if it's a cheap Harbor Freight one, whatever. Right now I'm using uh, flux core wire. It, it works great for the mower stuff. You know, I have a this little Lincoln uh, 110 flux core. It, it does a job for a lot of this mower stuff. I have a bigger welder, but I never really use it for any of this because it's just you know, overkill for any of this. So here's our hardware. Um, I have three eighths, grade eight. Um, that's going to be for, you know, when I drill the hole through this pulley. Um, this is a half inch bolt. You know, if you don't know, if it has five dashes, it's grade eight. Or if it just has numbers like that, it's just... Uh, grade five or ungraded unfortunately i do not have a grade eight this size all threaded all the way up and that's the best one to have so you know if you can get a grade eight that's you know definitely going to help you out on some of these pulleys that pull off hard this one's not the most worst pulley this pulley ain't terrible so i think we'll be okay with it so uh let's get this stuff assembled and uh 
I already made a little marks where I'm going to drill it. So we're going to drill our two three eight holes. And uh, when you do put the bolts through, you know, put these style nuts. I like these nuts. You know, they got a little flange on them and a few washers just to give it a little bit more grab underneath. So let's get this thing drilled and see if this pulley come off. And one more thing, make sure you take the snap ring off before you start this, you know, some of them have snap rings, some of them have set screws. Uh, just check to see what yours has, um, but just always make sure that snap ring's off there. So I'm going to assemble everything and we're going to get this pulley off. So I just wanted to stop there so you can see actually what's happening. That bolt is pushing on the center of the shaft, lifting this off, um, and it's going pretty simple. Sometimes I will use an impact and go back and forth a little bit, but nothing crazy. Just light taps on it back and forth if they're really stubborn. This one's come along pretty easy, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this off. It's so easy. It just once it starts moving, it just walks right off. Voila! And she's off. So, like I said, this is a very simple, you know, way to get them off. Uh, you're not beating on the shaft. You're not, you know, stressing the housing. You know, this is the best way to get them off. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. This is the best way. Whether you have a steering wheel puller or you make your own little puller. This is the best way, you know, even if they're rusted a little bit at the top, I'll just clean them up with a whiz wheel, get them, you know, pretty decent, you know, even let them soak in PB blaster overnight. Um, and they always come off, you know, this is the easiest way, you know, like I said, you're not beating on the housing, you're not beating on the shaft, you know, causing, you know, stress, you know. To each its own, you know, however you, you, you know, you like this way, you know, let me know. Hit, hit the like, you know, put a comment. Um, if you think this way sucks, you know, let me know. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, check out my other videos. We got a lot of mower rides coming up. Um, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for checking in.